Welcome to Wild Country Adventures. Today, we're gonna be doing an oil change on my 12th gen F-150. First, I'm gonna remove the oil cap just to release the back pressure for a more efficient drain. I'm then gonna crawl under the truck and remove the drain bolt using a half inch socket. Now it's also important to note that you want to make sure you give this ample time to drain and you want all the oil out. Alright, you want to make sure you clean this up. It's still going to drip a little bit and that's okay. We'll go ahead and put the plug back in. And I'm just going to finger tighten this all the way down first. Okay, and now that it's finger tight, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna snug this up. So it's maybe about a quarter of a turn around. Now, it's my understanding that this bolt is 11 foot pounds of torque if you're looking for the torque specifications on it, but I am not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But once this is snugged up, we're good to go and we can move on to the oil filter. Okay, now we're gonna reach up underneath and we're gonna remove the filter. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need two hands for this and don't have a good place to set the camera, so I'm gonna have to set the camera down when I remove the filter. There is a tray, though, for the leftover oil to drain into and then pour out the front, so there is no need to remove the skid plate. So, we'll be back in a second when I get that filter removed. I'm now just going to take a little bit of oil and go ahead and wrap that around the gasket just to help get a good seal and then we're going to go ahead and screw in the new filter. Alright and I'm just going to hand tighten the filter because we don't want to over tighten this and then the last step is to add the oil. I am using Motorcraft 5W20 oil, as this is what's recommended by the manufacturer. And I did use the Motorcraft filter, once again, that's recommended by the manufacturer. I know there's other people out there that kind of pick and choose what filters they want to use, the oil they want to use. It's just my preference to go with the manufacturer recommendation. and seven quarts. This should only take seven quarts for you to fill it up. After that, you should be good to go, but it is, of course, always best practice to make sure, start your truck, let it run for a little bit, and then check it on the dipstick just to be on the safe side. All right, last quart is in. Pull the funnel, and of course, don't forget to recap it. Go ahead, push the plunger until we get the hold to reset menu. Oil life 9%, we want to hold the plunger again to reset it. And there you have it. Quick and easy maintenance, a lot cheaper to do it yourself. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like the video, and don't forget to click the bell icon to make sure you're notified of new videos from Wild Country Adventures.